Good day, this is Michael with Iconosys. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video using our USB photography turntable, LumiPad 360 photography lighting setup, along with the uh, our newest product, our 360 acrylic riser to shoot 360 views on a pure white background. Uh, first thing I've done after connecting my camera via USB is enable my live view, and that's gonna stream a real-time preview of what my camera sees onto my monitor screen. We can see our camera's a little bit zoomed in, so what I'll go ahead and do is zoom out my camera just a tad while I visually position the object in the center of the turntable. After I position my object, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is adjust all my camera settings to optimize for my lighting environment. As you can see down here in this window, we have full control of our aperture, shutter speed, white balance, sensitization. And what I'm going to do here is just try to optimize my camera settings correctly for the lighting environment that I'm using. Again, we're working with our LumiPad 360 setup. Uh, 1 8 looked pretty good uh, with our shutter. Aperture, white balance, and ISO all look quite good too. Next thing I'm gonna do is adjust my focal point. Um, I'm gonna zoom in nice and up close, and I'm gonna start to adjust my uh, focal point using mouse clicks. And as you can see, we've brought the product back into focus, and that will be the focal point that we'll use for our entire set of images when shooting in 360. I'm just gonna make one slight adjustment here. Okay, so it looks like we'll position our object in the center of the turntable, we'll have optimized our camera settings, and our next step will be to enter into the 360 mode and start rotating our turntable. So I'll click the continuous spin button, visually I'm going to watch on my screen to ensure A, we'll position our object in the center of the turntable, and B, that it's not going to fall outside this crop area that I define right here. So we're visually watching again to ensure our object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable. And this, again, these, uh, the rectangle that I'm drawing here, uh, that's my pre-crop marker. It's only going to take a picture of what's inside this crop area that I define. So it looks pretty good as far as positioning our object in the center of the, uh, the, the 360 acrylic top riser. Uh, now what I'm going to do is we can move into our 360 shooting. So I'm going to stop the turntable at my first frame. And we'll set that for our first shooting frame. You just have full control over the amount of frames that you want to shoot from 8 up to 72 frames per 360 view. Simply from here, um, maybe we'll just shoot 24 for the purpose of this demo. I'll hit start and that's going to automate the entire process. The entire capture process is completely automated meaning that your camera will fire the first image, turntable will then turn to the second position, stop, and the camera will fire the second image. Okay, this will be our last frame. We can see the progress bar up in the top right uh, is just completed and we do get the notification, image capture complete. Um, so we can go and inspect our images if we want. Um, I was inspecting during the capture process. My next uh, step will be to select all images using the select all button. Uh, we do have an option to go into our editing tool. Uh, for instance, should users wish to make some editing changes, maybe adjust some colors inside of the, uh, um, for, for their images, maybe increase sharpness. We do have a very vast image editing suite and after you make changes, you can hit apply to all and in a batch process, it'll race through the entire set of images and batch edit them. Now that we've completed our editing process, we want to output these images. Uh, we'll select the batch save button. We also do have another uh, save option. We will call this white headphones. Uh, it's going to name them sequentially as well, and we do have an option to resize all. So maybe I do all want these at, uh, let's say, a thousand pixels wide. Uh, users can watermark, choose your resolution if required. Uh, lots of different options inside of here. Send directly to an FTP. Um, I'll also select my folder. I'll just make a new folder on my desktop. called headphones, select folder, and we'll go ahead and batch output these in battery size and battery name. After we've output the images, let's go ahead and select that uh, set of images here. We'll go back to our desktop, and we will call this, uh, we will find the headphones. 
We can see our set of uh, 24 individual frames will open up our 360 view creator application. Uh, if users are using a third party or a plugin for creating their 360 views, um, you could certainly uh, just uh, export your individual frames and uh, just use the third party application or plugin uh, for your e-commerce store to, uh, to uh, create the 360. Um, but basically inside of here you can see what we've just created an interactive 360 product view uh, on pure white backgrounds um, in about five minutes for product. Uh, users do have full control inside of here to adjust uh, speed um, of the duration, customize buttons, kind of really whatever they require. Um, and then you'll output it and then you'll have a 360 view ready to go for your website. Let us know if there's any questions. Thank you.